Hi, I'm George. One of the questions I frequently get asked is how to place an image onto a new layer in your document, like I have that coffee mug icon right there. There are several ways that you can do this. Which one you use really depends upon which one you're most comfortable with. So let's go through and take a look at these different techniques. I'm just going to delete that, so get that out of the way. Here's our basic image. I just opened this up and it's the background image right there. So we need to have a new image in here on top of this. The image can be anything you want. I'm just using that one graphic because it kind of matches the photograph in here. Now the first way is just to open that image up, go up to File and Open, and right there, choose Open, and it comes in as a, another window, right like this. So we now have two windows are not together, they're separate projects. If you go down to the Photo Bin, left hand corner you can see there's both images showing in your Photo Bin. So what I'll do is I'll go back here to this image, and in the Photo Bin I'll just take this and drag it up and drop it in like that, and that drops it in there as a new layer, and I can then resize that any way I want. So that's one easy way to do that. I do that quite a bit. Let's now delete that one. There we go. Now the next way, since we have these up here as docked windows, is to enable floating windows. Go up here to Edit, come down to Preferences and General, and check this checkbox right here. Allow floating documents in expert mode. Check that. Choose OK. And you now can take that tab, actually pull it off, and then float that window on top. This is what I normally do. It's just easier for me to see what's going on this way. I also can keep my tools options showing all the time down there. So you have your floating document. Your main project is in the background. Just grab the layer and drop it over here. There it is. Same thing. Pretty easy to do. And then again, just grab your corners and resize that to fit as you like. Like that. Okay, that's another way to easily do this. Two different ways there. Let's now just delete that layer. Another way is to copy and paste. Let's see how that's done. I'll go back here, File, Open. There it is. Choose Open. I'll put it back up as a docked window. I'm now just going to do a Select All. Select All or Control A. So the whole thing is selected. And then Edit Copy or the Control C keyboard shortcut. Go to your other image and then Edit Paste or the Control V keyboard shortcut. And then again that pastes it in as a new layer. So just one more way to do that. If you want to skip this whole bit with having these things on separate files, you can do that as well. Let's just cancel that out and we'll delete that layer. And that's over here in the File menu and come down here to the Place command right there. What this does is it's going to place that image into your currently open image. So click on Place. There it is again. Choose Place. And this time it comes right in as a new layer all in one step. And again, you can grab that and adjust to size. There's this big cross thing in here. That's because placed images come in as smart layers. See this little icon right down here? Now, a smart layer can't have a lot of things done to the actual graphic unless you change that. It does allow you to bring things in like this. You can resize them. You can do anything that you can do with an adjustment layer on top of this. But I can, for instance, come in here with the paintbrush, grab some red in here, and paint on that. It can't do that because it's a smart layer. It's locked for actually changing the pixels on that layer. Now, if you've done this and you want to paint on that, all you have to do is go up here, right click on the name, and come down to where it says Simplify Layer. Choose that. Notice that little icon just went away. I can now grab my paintbrush and come in here and actually paint right on that image. That can be done as well. Use Control Z to undo that. So there you go. Different ways to bring an image in. As you can see, they all do basically the same thing. You end up in the same place. It really is a matter of which one works best for your particular style when you're working inside of Photoshop Elements. All right, don't forget to like and share. Also take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.